if you can't find the charger for the uh, item, which in this case is um, toothbrush, whoops, right there, and then you look on the base and you get a magnifying glass if you have to and a <clears throat> bright light, and this one is, uh, you read the voltage and you read the uh, position of the um, thing, whether it's positive on the inside or positive on the outside. In this case, positive on the outside, negative on the inside, and the voltage 3.7 volts. Look in your um, assortment of tra tra uh, transformers. You grab, find, look on the label and look on the charger part, transformer part, and find one that has the right voltage, which in this case it's 3.7. I already did it. Find a um, plug that'll fit it, which in this case I found this one. It came off of um, something else. I cut it off. Let's see if it fits. And so then here's the charger. I checked the um, voltage. I checked the uh, voltage and the um, orientation of it before I wired it up. But it was wrong. That is to say when I wired it up to the plus, the red, figuring the red was plus. Actually, what was I thinking? Red's going to be minus. So now I've got... See if I've got it minus here and plus here. If it just, yeah, see it just goes in a positive direction. That's the way it is. So, but the main thing is what you really want to check is this. I want negative on the inside, positive on the outside. It's a little bit hard to hold this, but with Check it like that. And let me see if I can put my foot here. So if it goes, you know, in positive direction, then you got it. Positive on the outside, negative on the inside. Now, mine, this one is showing a much higher voltage because I've got the units on 50. It's almost going up to 10, it's showing about 9 volts. But the nameplate on the charger says 3.7. So I don't know, maybe it's going to calm down when it actually is charging something. I don't know. We'll just plug it in and find out, I guess. I like to solder. And uh, you want to get a little flux on there. These are, you want to have clean wires too. These are pretty clean. I'll rub it in with my fingers. And then wash my hands because it's not good for the camera. Okay, and I got the camera sitting on its own. Let's see if I can get this. We've got to get it hot enough to start that flux smoking. This is a little more trouble. There's easier ways to do this. But if you want to do it the best way, this is the best way. But if anybody tells you it's crazy to do this, I don't blame them. I mean, I don't, you know. I'm a little crazy. That's it though, that's all it takes. This is really the hardest part getting putting a decent insulation on it without making a big mess. And it's almost impossible. So you just have to kinda do the best you can, I guess. Definitely don't want the wires to touch. 
don't want the wires to touch each other and you don't want it to pull apart so there's there's nice stuff that you can get to the shrink wrap or something you heat it you sh put a tube over it and then heat it and shrink it that's nice but I just don't have it right this moment so that'll do it'll probably come apart later and then you have to redo it I don't know but uh, but I think the kid will be able to brush teeth again that's the main thing And I might be the one that threw the charger away too, so.